What's up you guys? Tech Anime coming at you guys today with a brand new video. I'm glad to be back you guys. It's been about a year since I've actually released out a video. I'm really excited about this video because it'll actually be a way for me to review something that's kind of more so computer savvy that I've you know been wanting to do now for a while. So I figured maybe this right here would be a really good video for me to kind of give you guys some insight onto this $20 SSD I bought off Amazon. The Crucial BX500, which I purchased from Amazon for only $20, will it give me the performance increase I need to see on my older rig? Yes, let's find out. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and list a uh, set of computer components that are inside the computer. It's actually an older model. And I'll go ahead and put that in the description below for you guys as well. So you guys can also check that out while you're looking at the video. And I wanted to kind of keep something in mind. For this test, in order to determine if I was going to get the bang for my buck, I decided to go ahead and clone the uh, hard drive, the mechanical hard drive that I have already in the computer, which has Windows 10 on it, onto the SSD using the software that Crucial recommends. After cloning, what I decided to do was I decided to actually boot from both drives by pretty much switching the boot order in my BIOS. And I booted from the mechanical hard drive and from the SSD. And the one thing that you'll actually find kind of interesting is that there is a significant performance increase when it comes to booting for the SSD. The SSD most definitely does hold its own when it comes to booting because it's not necessarily slow, but at the same time too, it's not the fastest SSD I've ever seen, especially compared to some of the top of the line, top tier SSDs, which have a lot more features at the same time too. I think that the most important thing that you can actually take from this is that this is a budget friendly SSD and it does not cost as much as um, say some of the other SSDs out there. But I will give it to Crucial that they actually did come through with a budget friendly, performance friendly SSD. So the SSD has a read speed of 540 megabytes, as well as a write speed of 500 megabytes. And the other thing is, is that this SSD has a three year warranty compared to what a lot of other SSDs have, which is a five year warranty. And, and I believe that the reason why is because of the fact that the way that the SSD is made, the SSD will actually wear faster in a sense than some of the other SSDs that are out there on the market. And the reason for this is because there is a kind of, on SSDs there's a like a limitation on the number of times that you can read and write multiple times on these SSDs. Over time as you begin to read and write multiple times they begin to wear down. And the most important thing to understand is that well once they wear down they begin to start getting corrupted and you begin to also at the same time too lose some of your data and the SSDs just kind of pretty much fail. For the price point of $20, it is not a very bad SSD. Even when I'm actually using it in everyday task, I would say that it most definitely does have a significant advantage over the HDD, or rather my mechanical hard drive, because the SSD does still boot faster. It also at the same time too seems to launch applications a little more quicker. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's a pretty good, deal it's, it's a pretty good deal it's not necessarily one of the best deals that you can get out there because at the same time too crucial has plenty of other ssds and i'm not going to say that this ssd is not a good ssd but it is more so meant for budget friendly uh computer users so if you're just kind of getting started and you just want to kind of like figure out how an SSD might work for your computer. I would most definitely recommend this for anyone who's kind of starting to get into the process of putting SSDs into their computer because it'll give you a good idea of how fast your computer will actually uh, boot, how fast you'll be able to open up some of your applications and how fast in terms of overall performance increase it will give your computer in the long run. I still do plan on coming out with a lot more content and really I'm really excited because we are now kicking into my in so many words phase one of this process it has been a long time coming like i said before i've been gone for roughly about a year and to be honest it's, it's just been a lot of things just kind of going on with school and um, work and uh, i kind of have a, a bit more of a balance between everything i think now i'll be able to start doing youtube in a serious light so i look forward to see you guys uh you guys just keep on following uh, my channel and make sure to check out all of my content because I'm pretty sure you'll find some pretty interesting content as we keep on going and moving along the way. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I post new content. 
And at the same time too, you guys, you know, don't be strangers. Always know that I'm always open for comments, suggestions. You can always leave them in the comment section of my video, or you can also send me an email as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a great day. Tech Anime out.